Hey, welcome back to Jelly Space. I wanted to show off the wire management here. Uh, did a little teaser short on it. Uh, been working on it because uh, we've been having bad weather. So, come on over here. I'll show you what we did. We just got some simple wiring loom. And we'll start back here at the uh, camera. So, all three of our cables are all right here. Or two of our cables. So, all right here. They feed into the camera. And they come over here. And then we have this, uh, which I'm going to show all of this stuff off here shortly. Um, but this is uh, removable. So we can take this off like a wire harness essentially and then put it back and that snaps onto the filter wheel and that, that is on there with that really strong 3M mounting tape. And then our cable comes up for our guide scope. Uh, and then just to kind of hold everything in place, I had a bunch of these Velcro straps laying around from different USB cords I've bought over time. So I just kind of repurposed them. The harness comes down and it feeds in here to our USB breakout. So we got four USBs here. Um, so we've got those two and our power and that is for the camera and the guide scope and then we have power going up this wiring harness as well as a USB and this feeds into the actual tracker mount so we have another one of these uh, reusable or removable um, harness holders and then we have one here that kind of helps guide the cables and we were very specific to get a USB cable that had the right facing so that it would angle in the right direction. And again, I'll have a link to that USB manufacturer so you can actually get the right facing because they have them in all facings. So then we come back down. Our USB block is actually using the 3M command strips. So it just Velcros. So the idea is we take all of our components off leave all this stuff up here. This will stay with the tripod and it's held on with these elastic Velcro straps. Um, but these will all stay with the tripod. Um, and then whenever we reassemble it, it's very fast. You just snap that back on, hook up all your devices, hook up all your power. Uh, and the only thing we have coming out from the power or the uh, power supply is our one cable going down to our power station and then the one USB cable that's going to the computer. And the nice thing is, there's no trip hazards except for this one. And if we are to pull on this one, you'll see uh, if somebody trips on this, it just unplugs so the rig's not coming over. It's much safer than having all of these wires everywhere where everything can get hung on it. I like this uh, specific uh, split loom because um, it's very slick feeling and will easily resist snagging on stuff. So whenever you're kind of building this and just getting a feel for how it works, make sure to move it around, see if anything's gonna snag or catch. And then once you start liking it, that loom splits. So you can kind of test, um, test the fit and everything. And then order the cables to the specific lengths. Use a cloth tape measure to measure them out. Or if you have one that's six foot or 10 foot or whatever, just see how much of it you need. Measure it out the tape measure. So now let's talk about the actual supplies we used. First thing up, the actual wiring loom, and this is what they call a split loom. So come on over here, take a look at this. And it just peels back, and then you just put your wires in there. You can use a finger to kind of guide down there, and the other one to kind of feed it in as you go. Um, but again, uh, really cool stuff, pretty affordable. You can get in all different kinds of colors. Um, and I got a 10 foot roll and I've still got some left over. Then I had just these adhesive holders for little tiny wires. So if you just need to guide like one or two wires here or there, um, these are great for that. And the adhesive on these is actually strong. So again, I'll have links to that. Then these, which are um, temporary, so you can mount them down and then you just pull that to undo it and you can take the wire back out. Now I had read in the reviews, I, I like this style, but that the adhesive was not great. So I wound up getting 3M mounting tape, which they sell this at Target, Home Depot, Walmart. Um, this is amazing stuff. It's like a black 
uh, foam looking stuff and that's kind of what it looks like like a dark gray black foam and it really holds stuff so uh, you can cut this to size just using some scissors that's what I did and back to the telescope real quick right here on the side this filter wheel being round uh, that flat surface wasn't going to work so if you look you can actually see where I just built up some of that material to hold it in place so that is it is really on there it's not going anywhere very secure okay I'm back over here and then for holding the USB um, the USB breakout box or splitter I just use these 3M command strips. Kind of noticing a trend here. 3M makes really good stuff, um, but they're basically like a really heavy duty uh, Velcro, and they really hold stuff together great. So, and the adhesive is good. So, before talking about the adhesive, another thing you might want is just some, some alcohol, some rubbing alcohol just to clean the surfaces before you put the adhesive on. And the last thing that I used were these Velcro uh, strips and they're, whoop, I just shot that one off. They're elastic, um, so you can get them really tight. So that's what I used to secure uh, the cords. So come back over here. So they're securing all the cords uh, and even the uh, power supply to the tripod. So these are actually just gonna stay on the tripod. And whenever I fold everything up, they don't, uh, they don't interfere with anything. Um, and that way, whenever I set this up, it's just all the faster for it. Anyway, that's it. Wire up your telescope. It'll kind of keep things from snagging, grabbing. It'll make it safer. Uh, and it just looks nice. I'll take care, guys.